Hi, my name's Dave Huxtable, and I'm a leadership coach, linguist, polyglot, and mimic. Today, I've been thinking about the interesting fact that some French words that have been borrowed into English are pronounced in the French way in the United States, but in a kind of assimilated English way in the UK. And then others, it's the other way round. So, like, in the US, you get words like homage, but then people ask me as a coach what my niche is. Whereas in the UK, we pay homage to people and we work within certain niches. So I got to imagining how this situation might have come about. And here goes. Mesdames et messieurs, je vous souhaite le bienvenu à cette première séance du comité adjoint du traité de paix entre la Grande-Bretagne et les États-Unis d'Amérique sur la redistribution des gallicismes. Terribly sorry, old chap. Would you mind speaking English? I don't parlez vous, if you know what I mean. C'est typique. Bien sûr, je suis capable de comprendre le français. Mais les British ne respectent pas la culture des autres pays. Ah, je puis pas un mot, moi. OK, I speak English now. Much obliged, old chap. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish you welcome to the first session of the subcommittee of the peace treaty between Great Britain and the United States of America on the subject of the redistribution of French loanwords between English and American. I thought he said he was going to speak English. I think that was English. Given the divorce between Great Britain and the American colonies, the Académie Française has decided that for each French word used in English, one party will keep the original French pronunciation, albeit with an horrible accent, and the other will adopt a ridiculous assimilated version. I will now say the French word, and you will say how you will pronounce it. Filet. Fillet, we've been saying it since the 12th century. Fillet. Herb. 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 It's got a H in it. Vase. 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 Where do you get vase from? Valet. 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 Oh, but that just sounds pretentious. Why do you want a pretentious word for a servant? The word is French. Valet, filet, herb. French words with French pronunciation. Valid and fill it makes it sound like you're some ingenue who has seen the word for the first time and are just saying it as it's written. And you put on a voice, this kind of look at me, I'm so refined and I'm saying a foreign word kind of voice. Jean Domaine, let us continue. We are here to make peace. Peace, remember. En route. En route. En route. En route. What happened to the word is French and the pretentious voice? En route. Did you learn that from your hillbillies? The vase is en route, Mary Jean. Garage. 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 Why would you want to say garage? There's nothing chic about a garage. It's just a shed. What do you say? Send a message to the valet to unload the bagage from the garage in the garage. I suppose you also eat boiled cabbage. I would remind you, sir, that I am not here to be mocked by a servant of a mad king. Please, monsieur, asseyez-vous. Milord, I would ask you to remain civil. My apologies. As a token of goodwill, I will arrange for the United States to move its western border to the Mississippi River, and France can have Senegal. Most generous. Let us proceed. Niche. 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 Clique. Clique. Click. Now, no offence, but niche and clique are quite she-she words, and yet you give them this down-at-home pronunciation while calling a carriage shed a garage. I demand another concession. The United States moves to keep the French pronunciation of maitre d' and masseuse. Mais c'est quoi ces mots-là? What in the name of cricket is a maitre d'? Like a head waiter. Un maître d'hôtel. And you wish to pronounce it how? Maitre d'. Sacré nom d'un chien. Ils disent n'importe quoi. And uh, the other word? Masseuse. Like a guy who does massage. Une masseuse, monsieur. 
is a woman who does massage, not a guy. You can happily have both of those, old boy. No one my side of the pond would ever dream of saying either of them. And how about lingerie? Lingerie? Is a wandered angel? No, no, lingerie, you know, sexy undies. Victoria's secret. Mais je connais pas le secret de Victoria. How do you spell this word? L-I-N-G-E-R-I-E. -E. Lingerie. Lingerie? But this means linen closet. Nothing sexy and no secret. Your lingerie is not even recognizable as French. You can both keep it. At least you agree on something. Now, if you enjoyed that, check out these other videos, which also take a humorous approach to all matters about language and life, and hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.